Wrestling Inc. puts out an internet article claiming Don Callis is leaving Impact Wrestling for AEW. I will discuss that. I put together a little AEW versus Impact Wrestling fantasy card. Davy Boy Smith Jr. is officially a free agent. And guess what's back? Dumb comments. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Just a quick reminder, I do now have my own YouTube channel. It's the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. I want to thank everybody who has hit that subscribe button so far. But if you haven't, please consider heading on over to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. I have numerous interviews up there with legends such as Nikita Koloff, Ricky Morton, indie stars such as Kobe Christ, Nick DeNatural Sullivan, many, many other stars. Check it out. The Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. And please, please hit that subscribe button. That's all I'm asking. All right. So let's get on to the Impact Wrestling news. So Wrestling Inc., they put out an article claiming that uh, they have an exclusive backstage news on plans for the crossover AEW Impact Wrestling and Don Callis' future. So they have an exclusive. Okay, so let's uh, let's um, let's read a little bit about let's read a little of this article. So it says Wrestling Wrestling Inc has learned that the relationship between Impact and AEW is not currently scheduled to be intertwined. From what we have heard, Omega's appearance on Impact will be a one-off and was largely done as a favor from Omega for Don Callis, who is a, who is a good friend of Omega's. Omega also requested that Don, that Don work as commentator for his big title win over Moxley. Tony Khan apparently liked the idea and signed off on it. Beyond making Omega... Beyond Omega making a one-off appearance on Impact, it was also relayed to us that the Good Brothers will likely be coming to AEW for one match as well. Okay, so, and then they say, Furthermore, we have heard that Don Callis' contract with Impact Wrestling may be coming up next month. Once Don Callis is done with Impact, it sounds like he would move to AEW full-time to work as Omega's on-screen manager. Okay, so let's let's dissect this. Let's di- let's di- dissect this uh, this this silly article. Okay, so so they they said rest, they that they have learned that the relationship between Impact and AEW is not currently scheduled to be intertwined. They said from what we have heard, you know, Omega's appearance on Impact will be a one-off. Okay, from what they have heard, and then they say at the bottom here, once Impact, you know, furthermore it says furthermore we have heard. That Don Callis' contract with Impact Wrestling may be coming up next month. And when he's done, he's going to move to AEW full-time as Omega's on-screen manager. Okay, they said twice from what we have heard. Who did they hear this from, first of all? Who did they hear this from? Did they hear it from Impact Wrestling? Did they hear it from AEW? Did they hear it from Tony Khan? Did they hear it from Scott Demore? Did they hear it from Don Callis? Who's who? Who did they hear this from? They said, from what we have heard, did, did they hear it from from intern Bill's Uncle Jack's mortgage loan teacher or instructor? Did that is that where they heard it from? What is the source? I mean, did 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 one of their writers go into Starbucks and order a, a um? A venti, I think venti is one of the sizes at Starbucks. I'm not a Starbucks guy, but did they order like a, a venti uh, latte? And and the 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 18 year old kid who's making the coffee says, "Hey, I heard uh, I heard uh, I heard um, uh, Don Callis is uh, is heading over to AEW." Oh, well, the 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 18 year old who's making my um, venti latte is, is mentioning that that Don Callis is, is headed over to AEW full time uh, it must be it must be a story so we have to we got to report on that it's an exclusive we got to report on that immediately you know, why not name the sources why not name the sources first of all first of i think this article is bull crap total total bull crap i i don't think it's a one off 
I don't think Don Callis is his contract is coming up at the end of the month and he's going to jump on over to AEW. I mean, if if he was going to do that, I mean, why? If if his plans all along are the the contract is up at the end of the month and he's just going to jump over to AEW to leave Impact to go to AEW, why even do this whole crossover thing then? Why even discuss the crossover? Um, why discuss, discuss the crossover with with Tony Khan if all Don Callis is going to do is next month go to work for uh, for AEW full time? I mean, what would be the point in that? It makes no sense. This this whole article is 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 um, is is ridiculous. It's a stupid article. Uh, if you ask me, it's a really dumb article. I think it's uh, uh, the person that wrote it, and I don't, I don't see a name here for um, for whoever wrote it. But for whoever wrote the article, I think they have something against Impact Wrestling, and they're trying to imply with this article that that the the only reason why that this partnership is happening is because Don Callis is leaving to go to AEW full time, and 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 don't worry, it's just a one off. Just a one-off thing, you know. That, that's all. I mean, the the this, the person that wrote this article is probably a AEW fan, and and they they can't fathom the um, the, the idea of, of Impact Wrestling working with AEW. So they they, they came up with a with an exclusive quote unquote exclusive report about Don Callis, you know, joining AEW because that's the only reason why that this this relationship would happen, right? Is because Don Callis is leaving in a month. You know, thank you, Don Callis, for your contributions to Impact Wrestling. You know, but uh, yeah, he's he's leaving in a month. Yeah, yeah. Again, I think this whole article is bullcrap, and I find it hilarious that Wrestling Inc. is the only website, only wrestling news source that are that's that has this quote unquote exclusive report. No one else is reporting on it except except Wrestling Inc. because because one of their interns heard it from 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 Jack at Starbucks, <laughs> so they they decided. To <laughs> They decided to run with the story. They decided to run with the story. Yeah, this will. Uh, let's run with the story. You know, Jack. Jack at Starbucks uh, while he was uh, pouring milk into my latte said, "Hey, I heard Don Callis is leaving for AEW. Are you really? Whoa, that's a that's an ex, that's a scoop. We, um, I, I better rush back to the office and start typing up the article." Total, total bullcrap. Total bullcrap. Anyway, let's not more. Let's not waste any more time on on this. So uh, let's uh, let's move on. So I put together an AEW versus Impact Wrestling fantasy card. You know, I, I, I if I if if I was in charge in booking the the show, I put together a card, and there, there were quite a few matches. So I'm gonna run down the matches that I came up with, and in the comments you can let me know what you think. And uh, if you have any fantasy matches of your own. Please feel free to put them in the comment. I would, I would absolutely love to see them. So AEW versus Impact Wrestling. So this, this is how I would book it. You know, I everyone is saying, oh, Kenny Omega versus Rich Swan, title versus title. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I would eventually do it, but right in the the first show, I wouldn't. I would, I would book them each in individual matches against top stars from AEW and Impact Wrestling, and give them both high profile wins. So. I would start with Kenny Omega defending the AEW title against Eddie Edwards, and then I would go Rich Swan defending the Impact Wrestling World title against Cody Rhodes. And I would put Kenny Omega over on Eddie Edwards and Rich Swan to go over on Cody Rhodes, giving them both high-profile wins for their respected, respective promotions. And of course, everyone's calling for it. Everybody wants it. So the North versus FTR. So that's uh, that's what I would do. I would book the North versus FTR. Of course, I would go Good Brothers versus the Young Bucks. Then I would go Darby Allen versus Ace Austin. I think that would be a terrific match. I go Hikaru Shida uh, defending the AEW Women's Title against Jordan Grace. That would be a phenomenal match. Again, I would keep her away from the Prazo. They would eventually have them meet down uh, in the second or third card. I'm sure there's going to be if 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 they do do this, I'm sure there will be more than one card. I would I would hope I would hope. Uh, then I will go Diona Prazo defending the Impact Wrestling World Title against Serena Deeb, uh, the NWA um, Women's Champion, who's also signed to AEW. Don't know if the NWA title would be involved in that or not, but. But anyway, Diona Prazo versus Serena Deeb. I'd go Chris Bay against Scorpio Sky. 
I think that would be a fantastic match, and uh, I know they've had uh, matches in the past. Uh, Sammy Callahan one on one with with John Moxley will be absolutely sick. Rohit Raju defending the X Division title against Pac. That match, I would have Pac win the X Division title. I would put the X Division title on Pac and have him defend it AEW and and, and Impact. Uh, Johnny, I, and here's here's the here's the comedy match. I would put Johnny Swinger one on one with Orange Cassidy. I, I I just there's something in my head that says that would be a highly entertaining match. So Johnny Swinger against Orange Cassidy. Then we go Chris Jericho versus Eric Young, Adam Page versus Joe Doring, Motor City Machine Guns against the Lucha Brothers. I'd go Willie Mack versus MJF. I think they would have an entertaining match. Taya Valkyrie one on one with Thunder Rosa, and then I would go Moose versus Brian Cage, which I think would be a tremendous match. So that would be my fantasy, my my uh, AEW versus Impact Wrestling fantasy card. I, I know that Rosemary is not on the card. Uh, I couldn't really find an opponent for Rosemary. You, I guess you could put her up against Nyla Rose, but I'm not sure how that would how that would play out. Also, oh gosh, I left one out. Sue Young against Abaddon. Sue Young one on one against Abaddon, uh, so you could either put Rosemary in that spot or Sue Young. So either Sue Young or Rosemary against Abaddon. You, you got to put those. T- you got to put them together. Um, that would be um, a, a freaky match. <laughs> I, I'd be a freaky, freaky match. Uh, Sue Young against Abaddon or Rosemary against Abaddon, or unless Abaddon finds a partner that's similar to her, to her character and have Sue Young and Rosemary against um, Abaddon and, and her partner. So guys, let me know what you think of that fantasy card. Again, some of you are going to like the matches. Some of you might not like the matches that I that I fantasy booked there, but, but feel free to let me know. If you have matches that, that you want to put together, again, put them in the comments. I'd, I'd absolutely love to see them. All right, so let's move on. So Davy Boy Smith. Davy Boy Smith is a free agent, no longer with MLW. I brought his name up a few podcasts ago, but I'm going to bring it up again. He's a free agent. And I know before he signed with MLW, he wanted to sign with Impact Wrestling, but New Japan Pro Wrestling apparently blocked it. But I don't want to speculate because I don't know the whole story behind it. So I don't want to speculate on anything uh, unless I go to Starbucks and I, I, uh, I hook up with Jack while he's making me a, a latte. Maybe, maybe he knows. Maybe he has a scoop. Maybe he has a scoop on that, but, but anyway. <laughs> but anyway, so um, but seriously, in, in all seriousness, seriousness, I don't, I don't want to speculate. I don't know the the facts of the story there between between um, David Boy Smith, New Japan, and Impact. All I know is that he wanted to sign with Impact Wrestling, uh, but that, that that didn't happen. And here's his opportunity now. Here's his opportunity. He he would be a great addition to Impact Wrestling especially with the whole AEW Impact partnership that's going on. He would be a terrific addition to Impact Wrestling. And uh, he's weighing his options. He's, he's, you know, he said WWE is a possibility. I don't see him going there because I think he would just get lost in the shuffle there. I mean, he was there already. And he's been there, done that. And uh, I think if he went back, I think he would just get lost in the shuffle. And... Um, I don't think it would be a good fit uh, for David Boy Smith Jr., but going to Impact Wrestling, he could be a major star. He could be a major star in Impact, a top guy almost immediately in Impact Wrestling. AEW, of course, is always a destination as well, but I think Impact Wrestling would be the best destination for David Boy Smith if he wants to remain a top guy because he'll be a top guy, like I said, almost immediately in Impact Wrestling, and they they could really use him in their in their upcoming war with AEW. <laughs> and I would love for him to sign with Impact Wrestling. So hopefully they can work something out with Davey Boy Smith Jr. I am final resolutions coming up. Um, don't know if he would debut there, but Hard to Kill. Hard to Kill uh, would be the perfect place for, for Davey Boy Smith to f- debut for Impact Wrestling. So keep your fingers crossed. Mine are, and I hope we see Davey Boy Smith in Impact Wrestling. Triple H, Triple H. I want to just talk about Triple H for a second. Now that this partnership between uh, Impact Wrestling and AEW is is happening, suddenly Triple H says that uh, WWE is open to crossovers and we're open for business. <laughs> we're open for business when it comes to potential partnerships with other companies. That we're open for business, right? He says, he says, but only if it's benefit. 
So they're open for business. They're open for potential partnerships as long as it's beneficial to the WWE. See, that's, there's the difference here. Here's the difference. Here's the difference. The AEW Impact Partnership, in my opinion, the way I see it, the, from what I've been reading, is being done not to benefit AEW, not to benefit Impact Wrestling. It's being done to benefit the fans. Triple H comes out and says in an interview that they're open for partnerships as long as it's beneficial to them. To them, not the fans, to them. So that's the difference right now. That's why the WWE is on a huge decline right now. Because they're not thinking about the fans. They're just thinking about themselves. That's why I don't really watch it anymore. Because, like I said, it's, it's all about them. It's not about the fans, it's about them. So that's why I don't really watch the WWE anymore. Anyway, anyway, you know what time it is? You know what time it is, folks? You know what time it is, fellas? You know what time it is, my friends? It is time... It is time for the return of, are you ready? Are you ready? Dumb comments. And there were quite a few this week. So let's get right to it. Let's get right to it. Here's the first dumb comment. Somebody writes, you know, and I would love to read the names of these people, but I don't, I don't really want to, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to read anybody's tag names on Twitter because I don't want them to get, um, I don't want you guys going after them, so I'm not going to read the names, but these are actual comments. These are actual comments. Um, so s- somebody uh, responding to All Elite Wrestling uh, says, Don Callis said, wait till Tuesday. Um, so somebody re- responds by saying, Don Callis, how are we supposed to watch Impact? Literally, no one gets that channel. Uh, yeah, uh, 150 million people have access to Access TV. So quite a few people do get that channel. And once again, I have to let them know that it's on Twitch. If you have a computer, you can watch Impact Wrestling. So stop the whining, dude. Stop the whining about how are we supposed to watch Impact. You know, watch on Twitter or watch on Access TV. You might get it. It's on 150 million people across the United States gets Access TV. So let's uh, go to the next one. This guy writes, good news, because besides good brothers and, and a couple of women, Impact has no talent. No talent. This guy writes, Impact Wrestling has no talent, except for the good brothers and a couple of women. You know, he didn't specify which women. So, okay, so why don't we, uh, why don't we uh, tell Moose, why don't we tell Sammy Callahan, why don't we tell Chris Bay, why don't we tell... Um, the North, Josh Alexander, uh, Ethan Page. Why don't we tell Rich Swan? Why don't we tell Eddie Edwards? Why don't we tell Rohit Raju? Why don't we tell who else we got? Why don't we tell Eric Young? Why don't we tell Joe Doring? Why don't we tell the Motor City Machine Guns? Let's tell Ty Valkyrie. Let's tell them all that um, that that this guy thinks that they have no talent at all. Okay, why don't we tell the, all all the guy all the names that I mentioned? Uh, this this gentleman thinks that that they aren't talented at all, and Impact Wrestling has no talent except the Good Brothers, of course, and and a couple of women. You know what this guy deserves? You know what this guy deserves? I think you know what he deserves. He deserves a fish stick sandwich. That's what this guy deserves, a fish stick sandwich and hopefully there's fish sticks in the house because this guy is not going out to get fish sticks so if there's no fish sticks in the house he's not leaving the basement he's gonna he's gonna think of something else (laughs) so hopefully there's fish sticks in the house otherwise he's not leaving the house because you know he's 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 very happy in the basement right now all right so let's let's move on let's move on this other guy writes i didn't realize impact was still on the air and running (gasps) Oh, did did you come up with that one on your own, or did you have to think about that for a bit? You know, I didn't realize Impact was still on the air and running. And he puts a, he puts a uh, like a smiley emoji face. You know, yes, uh, yeah, and he, and he and he commented on Impact Wrestling page, so he he obviously knows Impact Wrestling is still on the air and running. You know, he's he's trying to be cute. He's trying to be cute. I think he's trying to be cute in between taking bites out of his, his, out of his fish stick sandwich. <laughs> he's trying to be cute in between bites of, uh, of his fish stick sandwich. But he's probably a little upset because he ran out of mayonnaise. And he had to, and he had to, use, he had to use ketchup. 
<laughs> he's a little upset. Yeah, this guy's upset. You know, he's upset that uh, he's no mayonnaise in the house, so he's got a he had to settle for ketchup on the fish stick sandwich, and it's it's not the same. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm I'm a little pissed. I'm a little pissed that I had. To, <laughs> I'm a little pissed that that um that we ran out of mayonnaise. And and mom didn't mom didn't pick mayonnaise up when she went shopping yesterday. So, <laughs> I mean, for goodness sake, I'm 38 years old. <laughs> I deserve mayonnaise on my fish stick sandwich. <laughs> next time, my mom better. I'm, I'm gonna make sure next time I, that my mom, my mom, as 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 long as she pays my cell phone bill, that that I send her a text message when she goes shopping. That that you know remind her to pick up the mayonnaise. Because by by dar darn it, this thirty eight year old man in his basement, he deserves a fish stick sandwich with mayonnaise. Okay, let's let's move on to the next one. Next one. So another guy writes, What does impact have to offer what does impact have to offer with a partnership? The roster sucks. Okay, and I I, I, I um I I read off a bunch of names uh, before, and and it, but this guy doesn't even mention that the Good Brothers, and he doesn't mention the, a few women. He just says the whole roster sucks. So the entire the entire Impact Wrestling roster sucks. So so um yeah so so Good Brothers. Uh, this guy thinks you suck. You know, Good Brothers suck. The North sucks. Uh, the entire roster. You know, and and I'm sure the entire roster will see this. From this, from this guy who has like I think eight followers, and I think they're gonna be really upset. They might, they might decide to uh, ask for the release. <laughs> uh, all the talent might decide to ask for the release after reading this this comment from from this guy on Twitter who has eight followers. Because if if this guy thinks that the roster sucks, then it it's gotta suck, right? It's gotta suck, you know. And oh, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta suck. So and this guy, you know, this guy doesn't even—he doesn't even deserve a fish stick sandwich. He just deserves a well. He deserves a. He deserves a mushroom sandwich, right? <laughs> and this this guy deserves a mush stick, mushroom sandwich because the fish sticks are too good for this guy. You know, so so th this guy with his stupid comments is the whole Impact Wrestling roster sucks. You know, probably can't even name five guys in the roster. But um, but he deserves a mushroom sandwich. Okay, so let's turn, let's go to the next one. And this one is one of my favorites. This one is one of my favorites. Uh, this guy on on um, on Twitter says, "I'm tuning in for Kenny and will tune out the second he's gone." Okay, all right, all right, dude. Here's my response to that. Who the hell cares? Okay, who the hell cares what you're gonna do? Okay, if you're tuning in for Kenny and we'll tune out the second he's gone, who cares? You could do what you want. Probably, you know why you're going to tune out the second he's gone? Because you're going to be worried about your fish stick sandwich burning upstairs because mom's not home, dad's not home, and you you are responsible for your own fish stick sandwich on that, on, on Tuesday night because mom and dad are out working uh, to, to pay your expenses because... Because you're stuck in the basement, and that's that's where you feel safe. So <laughs> they're out working, and it's your responsibility to make sure that fish stick sandwich doesn't burn. So that's maybe why you're gonna tune out. They're gonna tune out the second he's gone because you want to make sure you don't burn the house down while you're making that fish stick sandwich. And and you're a little um, you, you don't have that much experience. <laughs> You don't have that much experience when it comes to making, you know, the fish stick sandwich because, like I said, the parents are always home. They're always making a few, you know, so, so you're, you're on your own on, on this Tuesday, you know, good luck, good luck, you know, you might, you might want to Google, you know, how to make a proper fish stick sandwich and uh, before you start, because like I said, you don't want to burn the house down, you know, you, you, you don't want to screw up because I'm sure, uh. You're a um, little inexperienced in making uh, the fish stick sandwich. You do deserve one, but you're just a little inexperienced in uh, in making the fish stick sandwich. Because you know, when you're in the basement in front of your computer, you know that's all. That's all. That's where your mindset is. Just in front of the computer, you want to know about anything else. So you're just in front of that computer, typing all day, typing comments. And when it comes time to actually do something responsible. And be a responsible person. That that unfortunately, that's where you fall short. 
<laughs> That's where you fall short here. So uh, so if you're going to tune in just for Kenny, then you'll tune out the second he's gone. Hey, who cares, right? Nobody. Nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares what you're doing, okay? Nobody cares. Okay, we got one more. We got one more. When Impact Wrestling... <laughs> when Impact Wrestling announced that Kenny Omega is going to be appearing on Impact Wrestling on Tuesday, somebody type the word who. Who? With a question mark. This is like it's this is like an an automatic response from some people. When Impact Wrestling announces that somebody is coming on the show, they just in, they they automatically just type who with a question mark. But this is Kenny Omega. Right? Oh, Joe Doring, when Joe Doring debuted, I can understand he's from All Japan Pro Wrestling. Not everybody knew who he was. You type in who. You're not familiar with anything outside the United States. That's understandable. But this is Kenny Omega. He says, it's a Kenny Omega will be appearing on Impact Wrestling. And this guy writes who? Like, like it's Impact Wrestling. So I automatically, somebody's coming on the show in Impact Wrestling. So I'm automatically typing who. You know, there's a knee jerk response. You know, it's like, it's like my hand has, I can't control my hand. I can't, I can't control that my hand reflexes uh, when when Impact Wrestling says that they're going to that they're somebody new is debuting. You know, my hand just takes over and types in and gets to the keyboard and hits the W, the H, and the O and the, and the question mark. Well, it hits the shift and it hits the question mark. I have no control over it because uh, that's uh, that's 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 what trolls do. They have no control over their own bodily functions. When when Impact Wrestling dares announce that somebody is going to be appearing on their show, so Kenny Omega, who the entire world knows who Kenny Omega is, so this guy is like uh, who, right? And it's it just boggles the mind. And he's not Kenny. It's really he's like who who? Oh my God, Kenny Omega is going to be on Impact Wrestling. Who's that? It's just the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's just like an automatic response. Oh, Impact Wrestling's got somebody new. Oh, I gotta type who before somebody else does. It's just stupid. It's stupidity. It's dumb. We all know who Kenny Omega is. I mean, if you don't know who Kenny Omega is, then then you're not really a professional wrestling fan. <laughs> then you're probably like a, a circus fan or something. Maybe a, you've been watching. <laughs> And watching, and watching too much, um, you know, Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus TV, and, and that's basically all you do. And and you, and you, you jump onto um, Impact Wrestling, and they say Kenny Omega, You're like, oh, who's that? You know, the, I know Bozo the Clown. I know who Bozo the Clown is. What's Bozo the Clown and Ringling Brothers? Brothers and well, anyway, but um, I know I know Flubsy the Clown because he's a, he's in the circus. I know Jack the Lion because you know he's he's in the circus. I don't know who Kenny Omega is. So who? You know, come on, it's, it's stupid, stupidity, stupidity, really dumb. Anyway, I I had to get those out. I had to get those out of my system. I know I ha I haven't done dumb comments in a while, so I just had to get them out of my system. And I kind of feel good. I kind of feel good getting it out of my system. And and I hope you enjoyed this installment of of dumb comments. And before I go, I just want to say that for AEW fans that haven't watched Impact Wrestling and they're going to be tuning in on Tuesday, Impact Wrestling has put together an incredible show. And uh, I, they, I think this, is, this was the plan to put together a, a, a top-notch show. And listen, listen to the card. You probably know who's going to be there already, but this is, this is what's on the show. Eric Young versus Cody Diener. It's going to be a great match. Cody Diener gave an incredible, incredible promo uh, last week. So this is going to be a really good match. I'm really looking forward to that one. Eric Young versus Cody Diener. Brian Myers versus TJP. That's going to be another great match. Josh Alexander versus Chris Sabin. Another terrific match. And the Knockouts Tag Title Tournament quarterfinal match. Diana Perrazzo and Kimberly versus Taya Valkyrie and Rosemary. Another terrific match. So they put together four fantastic matches for any AEW viewer that's, I said, tuning in for the first time. They are going to be in for a treat. And in addition to this, of course, Kenny Omega. Wait, who? Who's Kenny Omega? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> who's who's Kenny Omega? I, I gotta have to Google his name. I don't know who Kenny Omega is. Um, anyway, no, but in all seriousness, though, no, but, but Kenny Omega on, uh, added to that show is gonna just make it a a top notch show. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. And just one real quick request to Impact Wrestling on the Twitch feed because I would assume a lot of AEW fans are going to be 
tuning in to watch Twitch, please, please, please make sure that there's no glitches that happen on the Twitch feed. I know I believe there's some been some glitches in the past with Twitch, but please, no glitches on the on the Twitch feed. Not this, not this upcoming, sh- not this upcoming Tuesday. A lot of AEW fans are gonna be tuning in. Just make sure, make sure that Twitch feed works pristine, pristinely. Please. Okay, that's it for me. This is Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.